In this video, I'm just going to showcase how easy it is to apply symbology using QGIS and of course um, aviation. I have an AIXM file here. I'm just going to drag and drop into my QGIS version. Once I drag and drop, it's going to ask me which features I want to get inside. For me, in this case, I just want to add the designated points. So I'll just add those ones. I click OK on that. And I have this data already here. Um, this is from Latvia. So let's see if we can check. I'll just add from Quick Map Services, OpenStreetMap. I'll just use the standard just as a backdrop so we can see how it looks and if we are at the right locations and so forth of course because i'm using wgs epsg 4326 versus the latvia projection it's not going to look exactly correct cartographically speaking because when we're working on a print or web map we actually want to use a projected coordinate system but for this demo this is okay this is all right now I already have the designated points and I want to apply and a style to it. So instead of going one by one, um, QGIS has this neat thing, which is uh, you can import a style that is already designed. So I'll just load a style. And to do that, I double click on my layer. Then I go to symbology. I can go to this part here. This is style and I can load the style and it tells me all the things that I can import from a file which i already have prepared for this i'll just browse for the file and i'll just this one designated points open i want to load the style and i can deselect things that i don't want but in this case that's okay i want all of these things load the style okay and automatically the style that i have is apply including the labeling and it looks kind of okay and this is the part where standardization on the fields that AIXM has comes pretty handy because we have defined this data and it doesn't matter if I bring now some other data. So let's bring now some Brazilian data to this same map. I'll just use the same QML file and you'll see that we'll get a very similar result. So now I have some Brazil data and this one is old from 18 June 2020, but there's newer ones you can download from the website. Just load it up. So I, as you see, um, QGIS is kind of XML aware, so you can just drag and drop. I mean, it's not 100% correct on a lot of the features, especially because of AI accent complex features. But in this case, uh, points work really good. I'm just going to add the designated points. The result has a lot of data here. And again, you know, I can just select designated points. That's the only thing I'm interested in at the moment because 7,116 uh, features. So I'll just click OK to that. And it will load up in QGIS. And the new thing is it's put under a different layer here. So I'll just click here. You see, it doesn't have the same symbology. I'll just right click here. I want to zoom to this layer to see how it looks. So it's okay. So it's a lot more data. It's a, a much bigger country, of course. Again, WGS 34, not the best um, way to show this data. But anyway, this is just for display purposes. Now I'm just going to do the same process again. I'm just going to double click on this layer. And I'm going to make sure I have the symbology um, here selected. I'm just going to click on style, load the style, select from the file, and I'm going to select the same exact file as before and click open. Trust me, it says open. I got my computer in Spanish. I'm going to load the style and click OK. And now, boom, here we have Brazil data 
it has a lot more information and it has uh, different things um, like IKO and Terminal, which is the one that I have at this point pre-configured. But you can see that there are all the styles I haven't defined and so forth. Uh, it's a lot of data. So if I zoom in into it a little bit, you can start seeing also some of the labels that will appear. There we go. So you can see we got a Latvia example, we got Brazil example, it's exactly the same thing, it's AIX 5.1 and the style just works, load it up, boom, it's quick, easy and this is one way to have consistent cartography across, well, the whole world. Uh, until the next time for the next tip.